Hi, my name's Simon from Motorham. Today we're going to take a walk around and a quick drive of this uh, uh, Land Rover Lightweight 1981, 2.25 petrol, um, that's going to be sold uh, just on eBay as a no reserve auction. So it's something we took in part exchange. Two videos, one walk around, one driving. Um, hope you like them. Okay, quick video of start up and idling on this lightweight. Ignition light comes on as it should. And it starts smartly whether it's hot or cold. You can see the ignition lights on there. It doesn't go out until you actually really give it some beans. Now it's gone out. But there we have it. Now a quick look under bonnet. Got a 2.25 X military engine there, doing what it should say mechanically. It's actually very strong this one. Don't like the pancake filter, but there we have. As you can see, we don't have a bonnet, um, uh, a bonnet prop on it. There we go. Okay, let's take this 1981 W uh, Land Rover lightweight, air portable for a spin, showing 71,000 miles. Could be right, could be wrong. Who knows? Um, I'm not going to take it very far because I've got such a sore right knee I can't bend it properly to um, uh, to work the accelerator but um, it does actually drive really strongly for one of these uh, much better than it looks should we say um, so we're just going to take it down the road so you can see it actually going but yeah starts on the button no signs of any misfiring hesitancy or overheating gearbox is nice it brakes properly it you know mechanically it seems to be pretty good it's just structural it ain't great anyway oh. Don't get old and get bad knees. Right. Fire it up. Now I'm not sure that the fuel gauge is working because it's not moving off of the, uh, the bottom stop. Possibly the temperature gauge not working either, but we'll know once we've uh, been down the road. Oh dear, this is so painful. doesn't work so apart from oh no I think the, the temperature gauge is starting to work now um, I don't think the fuel gauge is working though uh, the wipers they don't work uh, it looks like someone's been able to go at trying to rectify them because one of the blades is missing and the spindles
so there we have it. Sorry, it's not our normal normal test drive. It's just too painful for me. Uh, anyway, I hope you like that. Um, yeah.